Are you a victim of oily, shiny, greasy face? Do you have trouble keeping your makeup looking flawless throughout the day? Well, have no fear, oily face fam. Today, I'm gonna to share with you all of my favorite products for oily skin. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. So this is going to be an oil-free mattifying primer to reduce the look of flaws and pores that also controls oil. Another mattifying primer that I highly recommend is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. It basically acts as a liquid blotting paper to leave your skin looking matte all day. You can use this alone before or after your makeup to control oil. I have combination skin, so during the summer, hot, humid months, my skin gets oily in the T-zone. However, the rest of my face stays dry. So this mattifying primer is only going to go in those oily areas. I focus this in the T-zone. So the T-zone is the forehead, nose, and chin. I'm also going to jump in with an eye primer. The one that I've been using recently is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish. Applying primer as a base will keep it in place until you decide to take it off. Whether your skin has too much of a radiant sheen or it's just a full on shine fest 2017, you can prevent others from seeing their reflection on your face by simply using the Neat 3B Face Saver. This is an antiperspirant specifically made for the face. This is going to be perfect to wear alone or under your makeup. Think of the antiperspirant as a primer. I would not recommend pairing it with another primer. I would just say wear it alone. If your concerns lie with the oil your skin is producing, then stick with the antiperspirant. If you are concerned with pores as well, then stick with one of the other primers I previously mentioned. So here's a list of all my favorite foundations for oily skin. I'm gonna go through each one quickly for you. Today's video, I am going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. It gives you a matte full coverage that is waterproof, fade proof, and transfer resistant all day. Literally the last few times I have worn this, I got so many compliments on my skin. I also accidentally fell asleep in this. Don't tell my mom. And it literally looked perfect the next day. Another foundation go-to is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. This is a 24 hour flawless foundation that stays looking fresh and natural throughout the day. I would personally say this is extremely similar to the Kat Von D. However, I do feel that the Kat Von D is a much fuller coverage. The Estee Lauder is more of a medium that I would build up to be full. This is another great affordable option. It disguises redness, blemishes, and uneven skin tone but it's also infused with acne-fighting key ingredients. This will help to prevent and treat acne. The Hard Candy Glamouflage. This delivers full coverage with a natural matte finish. It's extremely pigmented, perfect to camouflage dark circles, blemishes, and uneven skin tone. The last liquid option I want to mention is Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is going to mattify and refine pores. This I find to be a sheer to medium coverage. I would also recommend using the MAC Studio Fix. This is a pressed powder. It is buildable coverage, so you can use this as a powder to touch up with throughout the day, or you can use it as a sheer to medium foundation. When applying my foundation, I always use a damp beauty blender. For concealer, two options that I'm obsessed with. One is the NARS Matte Concealer. This is actually one of their newer products. This is a full coverage concealer. Perfect for dark circles, redness, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, blemishes, acne, and any other quote-unquote imperfection that you could be looking to conceal. Because this shade is too light for me today, I'm going to actually use my Holy Grail Concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I've used this product for years now. It is literally my must have. It is long wearing, up to 15 hours, water resistant, transfer resistant, lightweight, but provides a medium to full coverage. So I just place the concealer over top of the foundation on any area I need extra coverage. So for me, that would be any blemishes, dark circles, and the redness in my cheeks. This face powder right here is my number one. This is the real MVP. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the perfect setting slash baking powder. This is going to go on my T-zone. I'm also going to set slash bake highlight areas. So my under eye and underneath my cheekbone. To contour and add a bit of warmth and color back into the skin, I'm going to use Benefits Hula. I recommend this one especially for oily skin because it is a matte finish. So there's no sheen, sparkle, shine, glitter, anything to this. It is just simply matte. When I'm done contouring, I then take a fluffy brush and just blend out all of the setting powder that we had applied. Next, I'm going to quickly fill in my brow using my Brow Architect from Tarte Cosmetics. For my highlighter, 
With oily skin, you have to be a bit more careful on placement as well as product. If you are oily, I recommend using a powder highlighter rather than a liquid or cream. So you want to keep it on those areas that stick out or forward on the face, which would be the brow bone and the cheekbone. You can also place this on the tip and bridge of the nose or Cupid's bow of the lip. You do not want to bring this down any farther. You want to avoid the cheek area, chin, and sides of the nose. I know others prefer skipping a highlighter when they have oily skin. This is obviously preference. With mascara, I recommend using the Lash Discovery from Maybelline. I would say you should use waterproof because typically if you are on the oily side, your eyes can end up looking like a raccoon. And that look is only cute on an actual raccoon. So to keep the oil from your skin budging at your mascara, stick to waterproof formulas. Back to that water resistant, long wearing, waterproof, etc. formula. I also recommend using that type of formula in a shadow and liner. This is also great for allergy season. So if your eyes are watery for any reason, or if you do notice that your eye product does not stay on your eye as long, or it bleeds or moves around, then stick with a formula that is long wearing and long lasting. I decided to go with a smoked out eye for this look, so I used two batter up long wearing eye pencils from The Balm Cosmetics. For the liner, I used a purple shade and this is called Slugger. So I simply lined the top and bottom lash line inside and outside the waterline, and then used a brush to blend this out. Then right over top on the lid, I used a lighter shade. This is called Curveball, and I drew this on the lid up into the crease and used a fluffy brush to blend this out and up. This is such a simple eye look, perfect for day or night. They have a ton of other shades in this formula. Then for a simple nude lip, I used the Tarte lip paint in the shade Low Key, and then over top, just on the Cupid's bow in center of the lip, so where the light would naturally hit the lip, I used Smashbox the Legendary Liquid Metal Petal Metal. To finish up, I recommend the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This of course is suitable for all skin types, but especially for oily skin, as you don't want your makeup to shine or fade throughout the day. The All Nighter Spray is key to keep your makeup from melting, cracking, fading, or settling into fine lines. The last product I highly recommend for anyone with oily skin would be oil absorbing sheets. This is great for touching up your makeup throughout the day. You simply blot this on the skin and it'll soak up the excess oil without removing or ruining your makeup. So let your oily skin shine and then quickly blot it up. <laughs> Just remember, whatever makeup product you are on the hunt for, search for these words in the formula. Mattifying, waterproof, water resistant, oil free, and long wearing. All products used, including shades, are going to be listed in the description box as well as a link to click on directly. I also listed a bunch of discount codes for you guys to take advantage of. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you enjoy this style video. I would also love for you guys to comment what your favorite products are recently. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.